December 2023. The Life Positive Spiritual Festival made its debut in Chennai in September 2023. The event was received with much love and warmth by the Chennaites and was attended by healers, students, monks, housewives, bankers, educationists, authors, and media personalities. Held at Hotel Savara, this two-day event was studded with star facilitators and eager participants ready to lap up every bit of knowledge and life-changing tools being shared by them. While Nayana Gopinath and Rama Ravi Titi were new to life positive, Katan Shah and Sramatha Vijay Lakshmi Pantheon were old stalwarts, captivating the minds and hearts of the audience with their skills, knowledge, and hands-on techniques. The inaugural address was delivered by Swami Shadananda, a monk from the Yogoda Satsang Society, YSS, Ranchi. Speaking on the topic of healing by the power of thought, Swamiji said that the objective of YSS is to demonstrate the superiority of mind over body and soul over mind. It aims to liberate man from the threefold suffering of physical ailments, mental agonies and spiritual ignorance. Citing from the seminal work Autobiography of a Yogi, Swamiji said that the book carries an anecdote between Guruji Lahiri Mahasaya and his disciple Sri Yukteswara Giri. Yukteswara Giri once complained to Lahiri Mahasaya about losing weight due to being extremely sick. Lahiri Mahasaya remarked that Yukteswara Giri's mind had made him sick and now he thought that he was thin. I am sure that you will feel better tomorrow, Lahiri Mahasaya said. Believing that Lahiri Mahasaya was secretly working to make him well, Yukteswara Giri went back to his house and got up the next morning feeling stronger and better. He credited his guru for making him well again. However, Lahiri Mahasaya remarked that he still felt that Yukteshvara had weakness left in his body as his illness was very severe. No sooner had Lahiri Mahasaya said this than Yukteshvara Giri again began to feel unwell. So much so that he had to drag himself out of his bed the next day to meet his guru. Lahiri Mahasaya said that, once more, Yukteshvara Giri had indisposed himself. It's not me but your thoughts that have made you unwell, he said just to show Yukteshvara what power the thoughts of a realized yogi held. Since Sri Yukteshvara Giri had deep faith in his guru's words, he manifested everything uttered by him. Swamiji further added, thought is a force. The mind is a force of God. Whatever you believe with great conviction will come to fruition. Positive thoughts can produce healing. When a thought is deeply connected to the divine, it will make itself come true. Idle and casual thoughts lack that power to manifest themselves. But when a thought is backed by the infinite power and energy of the divine, it reaches the subconscious and the superconscious mind and turns into reality. Moreover, for any healing to take place through thought, the patient should be open and receptive. Physical healing alone is not enough. Man needs to be free of mental. Swami Shadanandaji from the YSS, Ranchi. Lahiri Mahasaya said that, once more, Yukteshvara Giri had indisposed himself. It's not me but your thoughts that have made you unwell, he said, just to show Yukteshvara what power the thoughts of a realized yogi held. Since Sri Yukteshvara Giri had deep faith in his guru's words, he manifested everything uttered by him. Swamiji further added, thought is a force. The mind is a force of God. Whatever you believe with great conviction will come to fruition. Positive thoughts can produce healing. When a thought is deeply connected to the divine, it will make itself come true. Idle and casual thoughts lack that power to manifest themselves. But when a thought is backed by the infinite power and energy of the divine, it reaches the subconscious and the superconscious mind and turns into reality. Moreover, for any healing to take place through thought, the patient should be open and receptive. Physical healing alone is not enough. Man needs to be free of mental inharmony as well as spiritual ignorance to be fully healed and living in joy. It is important for man to align with cosmic principles and not violate them in order to be healthy and happy. Swamiji led the audience through a powerful meditation to connect them with their superconscious and blessed everyone for a happy and fulfilling life, after which, everyone left for the workshops they had signed up for. 1. The Power of Alpha Mind Meditation by Sarmatha Vijayalakshmi Panthayan To bring anything into your life, imagine that it's already there. Richard Bach F. The power of the subconscious mind is the greatest power a human can wield. 
The mind can create problems as well as solutions and is a collection of all thought processes. Every thought form creates energy. Positive thoughts generate healthy, happy, and joyful energy, while negative thoughts manifest as depleted energy. In the alpha state of mind, one can send out messages to the universe, which manifest in reality. Such is the power of alpha mind meditation. A day-long workshop on alpha mind meditation was conducted by Sarmatha Vijaya Lakshmi Panthayan on September 1, 2023. An eager group of 20-odd seekers sat in rapt attention, absorbing and experiencing the alpha state of mind. Sarmatha Vijaya Lakshmi Panthayan, a spiritual guru and founder of Alpha Mind Power, has held thousands of sessions since 2000, enabling participants to unleash the power of their mind through a guided meditation practice. Being a great devotee of Siddha Gurus, she calls herself and her followers Alpha Siddhas. Srimathaji explained that meditation need not be only for those who relinquish worldly desires but also for those engaged in samsara. Sarmatha Vijaya Lakshmi Panthayan being felicitated by Madhavan Nambiarji, advisor to life positive. This will automatically put every individual on the path of spiritual evolution as it is a powerful tool to navigate day-to-day -day human interactions. After years of research and experience, Sarmatha Vijaya Lakshmi Panthayan has carefully put together powerful meditation techniques to bring one to the alpha state of mind, which can be measured as 7 CPS on an EAT machine. A conscious mind at the beta frequency vibrates at 14 plus CPS, which is full of intense and rapid mental activity. Deeper states of relaxation are the theta state, 4 to 7 CPS, and the delta state, 0 to 4 CPS, when a person is in very deep sleep, coma, or even brain dead. Srimathaji guided participants to the alpha state, wherein she taught techniques to activate the right brain which enables creativity and frees one from limited beliefs. Once in the alpha state of mind, the participants learned how to send messages into the universe, pertaining to their cherished goals concerning health, self and others, wealth, material needs, and happiness, relationships. The participants observed renewed energy and a boost of positivity in their body and mind. A teacher and journalist couple described their own self-taught meditation processes and were glad to incorporate the guided techniques of alpha meditation in their daily practice. A young couple with children exclaimed that this workshop was their first introduction to meditation and were enthusiastic about using the techniques to attain their aspirations. An advanced meditation practitioner lauded the well-put-together session that holds value for everyone. 2. Emotional Reset by Nayana Gopinath Ace Facilitator Nayana Gopinath's Emotional Reset Workshop was on Healing Emotional. Backslash. Nayana won everyone's heart. Trauma. Expounding on the topic, Nayana said that trauma means that we are overwhelmed and can't process it fully as a coping mechanism. Trauma is unexpected and acts in three ways, attachment trauma, in utero trauma, and intergenerational trauma. Attachment happens from ages 0 to 10 years, in utero trauma occurs at the fetal stage, and intergenerational trauma gets carried forward from generation to generation. When it gets healed and resolved, it frees an individual from negative life patterns and further grief. Nayana then took all the participants through a meditative exercise where all were able to access a difficult childhood memory. When Nayana asked the participants to share their epiphanies, a lady called Shinjani Singh got up. She introduced herself as a healer and angel therapist and said that she realized Rama Ravi Titi captivated everyone with her insightful workshop. During the freewheeling discussion, instances of intergenerational trauma of the participants too came up and were subsequently released. Encouraged by her, other participants too opened up and shared their deepest traumas and unmet needs. They were all able to trace them back to an incident that had created a deep imprint in their minds when they were young. Nayana shared stories from her own life as well as how, when she realized that she was getting hyper-agitated over something minor, she decided to seek help. She realized how an overheard conversation between her mother and father, when she was seven, created deep anger and resentment in her, which continued to erupt unannounced at all the wrong places. Encouraged by her, other participants too opened up and shared their deepest traumas and unmet needs. 
they were all able to trace them back to an incident that had created a deep imprint in their minds when they were young. Nyana shared stories from her own life as well as how, when she realized that she was getting hyper-agitated over something minor, she decided to seek help. She realized how an overheard conversation between her mother and father, when she was seven, created deep anger and resentment in her, which continued to erupt unannounced at all the wrong places. In therapy, she was able to understand the cause of her inexplicable outbursts and forgive her mother, thus closing the chapter forever. Towards the end, everyone was deeply content and satisfied with the facilitator and the way she handled her participants. 1. Ikigai by Rama Ravi Titi. Rama Ravi Titi, a tall, beautiful, and statuesque facilitator from Chennai, held a workshop on Ikigai, which, in Japanese, means to follow your life purpose or life calling. Ikigai can be for an individual as well as for an organization. Rama said that for organizational Ikigai, the need, value, and passion of the organization's employees and customers must be in equilibrium. Reaching such a state and making it sustainable is challenging and only possible through reflection and asking the right questions. To find one's own ikigai, a person needs to ask self-reflective questions. What are my strengths and talents? What are my weaknesses and areas of improvement? Am I satisfied with the direction in which my life is heading? What activities bring me joy and fulfillment? Am I taking care of my physical and mental well-being? What are the values that guide my actions and decisions? How do I handle stress and difficult situations? Are there any negative habits and patterns that I need to address? What steps can I take to achieve personal growth and development? Am I spending enough time with those who matter to me? What are the accomplishments that I am proud of? What is my relationship with money, and how does it affect my life? Do I have a healthy work-life balance? Rama took the participants through various exercises that included worksheets to help them find their ikigai. She said that a person's ikigai is totally unique to them. It is what brings you the deepest joy. It fulfills your need to sustain yourself and brings out your talents and gifts, while adding something to the world that you feel is deeply needed. It is linked to economic fulfillment and also pays you good good money. Many were able to zero in on their ikigai in the workshop and resolve to make conscious efforts in this direction. 2. Total Healing with Acupressure by Dr. Katan Visha Total wellness is a triad of body, mind, and emotions working together as a whole being. World Health Organization mind, body, and emotions are connected, and the weakness of any of these elements has implications for the entire persona. In his acupressure workshop, Dr. Katan Visha guided the participants through the theory and practice of acupressure healing. With 30 years of experience as an acupressure, D. R. Katan Visha at the Chennai Spiritual Festival. Practitioner, Dr. Shah has used his wealth of knowledge to treat scores of patients successfully. Destiny brought Dr. Shah to acupressure when he underwent some health problems that caused him serious emotional and financial stress. When everything else failed, it was acupressure that cured him, and he became its lifelong votary. He also learned how energy balance through Vastu is imperative for a healthy life. Dr. Shah said that the proper functioning of each organ can change the entire persona of a person and make one a productive member of society. This has a ripple effect on family, community, and the entire country. He has conducted corporate workshops to engender good health in employees thereby enabling growth. He also consults companies in their recruitment process, helping them hire the right people for different roles. Through his work, Dr. Shah has created a positive impact in the lives of 14,000 Tihar jail inmates, transforming them into healthy and respectable members of society. Currently, he is seeing great improvements in the drug addicts incarcerated in Punjab jail. He has treated four lock patients across 32 countries, The 5,000-year-old science of acupressure is based on balancing the energy flow through the 12 meridians of the human body. Pressure points on the tips of the fingers, palms, hands, feet, and legs connect directly to the internal organs. Blockages in the energy flow cause ailments that manifest physically, mentally, and emotionally. For instance, a person with arthritis has an energy blockage in the meridian leading to the triple warmer, thermostat, 
in our body. The mental and emotional cause leading to the blockage is the feeling of being unappreciated and not feeling protected. By activating the triple warmer point located in the base of the backside of the hand, the condition can be healed. Dr. Shah demonstrated the healing processes of 10 different organs by activating the pressure points of the participants. He also taught them healing for themselves and others and provided charts as a reference guide. In addition, he gave several pointers for maintaining good health for children, adults, and the elderly. Rangashri Srinivas is the founder and CEO of Algotrack Private Limited, an artificial intelligence services company, based out of Chennai.